EOS positioning systems here. We're excited to show you uh, the update to Esri's Collector app. The old version that we're accustomed to is now known as Classic with the old icon, and the new version is just Collector, and you can see the icon's a little bit different. And the exciting thing about it that we're gonna highlight now with the EOS Arrow Gold receiver is the fact that the new version of Collector can collect elevation as part of a 3D geometry instead of as an attribute like in Collector Classic. And the other exciting component to that is with EOS Tools Pro, we can actually download the Geoid 12B model for orthometric heights in the NAVD88 vertical datum and therefore capture live ortho heights in the field instead of capturing basic ellipsoidal heights and then having to do post-processing to convert it to ortho heights back in the office. So first, what I'd like to do is show you in EOS Tools Pro, we're running an arrow gold with RTK right now. So at the bottom here, if you click on the config tab, and then you can see there's a new altitude tab there. So standard is just ellipsoidal. And you can see here we can actually download the geoid we want. So for the United States, we want geoid 12B. Yes, I want to download you. Okay, now we can see that the download is complete. And we actually want to tap on that line to get our little blue check mark to show up and say down. And then altitude reference, we actually want to change that to orthometric. Yes, done. Go back to status. And now you can see below longitude there, ellipsoidal height has changed to ortho height. And you can see that it's capturing uh, both orthometric height and the ellipsoidal height. So now let's go into collector Aurora. Now, in Aurora, I've already gone through and told it to connect directly to my Arrow Gold. I've already created my RTK correction profile like we have in the past. And the interface here is a little bit different. So just real quickly, our live accuracy box is moved from the lower left up to the top. So if we tap on that there, we can see the same information. Yes, I'm connected to my Arrow receiver. There's my estimate accuracy, um, RTK fixed, and you can see I have a correction age of 22 seconds, which is good. And my satellites, I'm using 20 of the 34 satellites I can see. And yes, I've applied my correction profile so that my imagery in the map lines up with the RTK corrections coming into my arrow goal. So I'm going to X out of that. And you can see my little cursor down there. Just tap on it, make sure we're locked in. Now our collection button has moved down to the bottom right. It's much cleaner UI compared to classic. I like this UI quite a bit. If I hit my plus button there, it's going to capture either a point line or polygon. I just want a point. Now you can see here's the point that we just collected. Similar to Collector Classic, but your setup on the back end, there is a little bit of different uh, setup process since we're capturing uh, 3D geometry instead of 2D. So you can see um, there's my name, my receiver, my estimated horizontal and vertical accuracy, latitude, longitude. You see altitude is my lip soil height, and then orthometric height, that is with the GOI 12B applied. And then we have our other standard information that we're accustomed to. And that very quickly shows you the exciting advancements of the new version of Collector. And we appreciate you visiting our website and we'd love to hear from you with any questions. Thanks.